Lisa is delusional, narcissistic, and mentally disturbed. For the 20 years I've known Lisa, I've been walking on eggshells. Lisa grew up in a highly dysfunctional household. When her father passed away, she didn't even go to the funeral. So what does that tell you about Lisa? When I was married to Lisa, the biggest problem with her is she was always very explosive on a moment notice. The worst thing about Lisa is that she's keeping my two boys from me. The last time I got to hug and hold my boys was March of 2014. After that, I've been restricted from seeing them at all. It's just a never ending battle. I want this to stop. Lisa was getting protection orders against me without any justification. The judge was handing out the protection orders just like if they were a piece of candy. Lisa said that I abandoned her while she was pregnant with our first son. I went to every single appointment with her, every sonogram with her. I was so involved, I was there when he was born. Lisa wants people to think that I was an absentee dad when in fact I did everything. I took care of the house, the cars, the shopping. Obviously, I took care of my boys too. I was a better dad than she was a mother. I did everything with my boys. I took them everywhere because she didn't want to do it. Lisa makes it seem that I don't want to see my boys, but she's the one that's preventing me from seeing my boys. My son Eli has been dressing in girls' clothes for a while now. I've been completely left in the dark. Lisa didn't even want the kids after we separated. She would drop the boys off at my house and run around with characters or other men that didn't even treat her that well. Lisa's behavior has taken a tremendous toll on me. She has created unnecessary court dates that lead to no resolution. I cry every day for my children. And when I got a call from the Dr. Phil show, it felt like a godsend that somebody's going to be there to help me. What do you have to say about what Lisa's had to say thus far? Well, I feel most of it's not true. Are, have there been times when you did have visitation and you didn't exercise the visitation? Well, I had visitation with my boys, but it was a uh, scheduled visitation at their school where I was their room dad. Lisa tells us that there were times when you had visitation and you just voluntarily stopped doing it. I mean, here, July 2011 to February 2012, eight months, mm -hmm. you, d you just did not do visitation. You could have, but did not. June 2012 to January 2013, another eight month period where you had visitation, but you just didn't do it. February to October 2013, nine month period where you could have visited, but you did not. And then your last visit with the sons was 2014. And that, during that time, you could have had visitation, and, but you didn't, you didn't exercise your right. Well, exercising the right, sometimes in the financial c capacity, sometimes it wasn't always there. But I did see my boys on a regular, on a weekly basis at their school. You couldn't afford to see them? Yes. Yes, because I, I was in transition from a, a one career to another career. Why could you not afford, afford to see them? What was the ex major expense? The major expense was, uh, it was two hours of visitation, and it was close to 300 and forty dollars, I believe. I was talking about supervised visitation. The supervised visitation. You said mm -hmm. that that she alienated you, that you couldn't afford the supervised visitation. She had five orders of protection against you, so you're always fighting against those. Well, only three of them were active. The other two were never active. Right. No. The court suspended visitations until you completed therapy. Did you ever complete the therapy? I did complete therapy with one therapist uh -huh. who actually said I didn't need to come back with more therapy. Uh -huh. And then you say Arizona is a very mother or friendly state. It is. And so they ruled always in favor of Lisa. It's actually not, it's a father's right state. Uh -huh. So are you aware that what she wants to do right now is terminate your rights completely? I wasn't aware of that before. How do you feel about that? Well, that won't happen. I'll make sure of it. Those are my boys. You have not seen your boys. You have not fought for because your boys. You have restricted me from them. For no reason. You. You I have done nothing wrong. You violated order of protection, Steve.